went to the market and we shopped i told her to write me a list because i was thinking if i give her the money she may not buy some things so i told her to write me a list of everything she needs god bear me witness story 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 <laughs> i'm going to be sharing with you guys a story of something that happened to me so recently um I did a favor for somebody and then i realized that i was scammed like i was um she actually used me kind of see if there's one thing i know about myself is the fact that i love to help people i love to give it is something that did not start today i remember when i was growing up um my mom she always monitored me because you can just buy me something today and then tomorrow you ask me about that thing and i cannot produce it i can buy so i've already given it out basically that's what happens i can buy something today and you tell me you like it and i just think you need it i give you and especially if i think i can always replace it if i if i have to sometimes i give out my stuff to people when i see it on them i'm like i think i used to have this thing where's my own they be like ah it's you that gave me now like i can't remember <laughs> So that is who I am. Um, having empathy for people is um, something that I, God has used it to bless me. So I don't feel bad about it. But sometimes when you now look at it, they will, they, they will be like, use your two eyes. Open your two eyes when you are doing favor or when you are helping people. Don't close your eyes and do it. So um, recently, there was a girl in my church who, a little girl who came to church, I just liked her. I started showing her love, care. Sometimes I give her things, I give her money. I call her, check up on her, how she's doing. And then one day she just chatted me up that she wants me to be her mom. It was shocking. Normally, if it was my normal me that I know, I would jump on it like, I'll be so excited, like, okay, okay, what do you want me to do? What do you want? Are you going to school? Are you this? Are you that? No, mommy, oh, that's what I will do. But in this case, I, I was thinking, I was like, what am I doing? So I called my friend. I was like, um, B Mark, my friend. I was like, B Mark, what do you think about this situation? He was like, mm, I know you, <laughs> I know you, but how long have you known this person? one two are you sure she's not painting a story for you to buy such that you can help her me i could come out do not know so we spoke at length it was just trying to open my eyes to some things he wasn't discouraging me to um to be nice to this person but he was just trying to tell me that i have to use my sense in this whole thing it's in fact that being kind being nice is a problem that i have is a problem that I have a hair, so I can't see you. In fact, there was recently I, I knew that somebody was going to scam me, but she used her baby to lie, and I gave her the money. I gave her the money because I was that thinking to myself, like, what if truly she needed that money to save the baby, and then anything happens to that child, I'll be feeling bad. So my husband will be like calm down <laughs> calm down oh this thing i think it like this it's not how it works so blah 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 but i just can't like i've tried but i can't be a different person this is who i am and i don't need people to give me validation for um, what i'm doing because i'm getting the blessing from god i am where i am today because of god and i feel it's because of the good i've done over the years i don't know and I know some people will still think ah, you, are, you are not a nice person. That means you don't know me. <laughs> so that incident of that little girl telling me she wants to be my mom now reminded me of a story. In fact, my friend had to remind me of an incident that happened um, some years ago of this lady that she was pregnant. So I had just moved to a new place. I got a job and um, I needed to put my child in a crutch. So I put my child in this crutch and the security lady at the crutch is a woman, a girl, pregnant girl, woman. I don't know. The story is just, I don't even know whether I should call her girl or call her woman, but that's, um, I don't know. <sighs> Eventually people will find out why I can't call her a girl or a woman. 
so she scammed me big time like big time big time like i felt like a fool like the biggest fool of the century but in all i still told god i said so you'll be all the glory <laughs> so hmm. so this girl lady girl lady let me say miss x miss x because she's not married so miss x was the security lady at the crutch so um one day she came to meet me after work when i came to pick my child and told me that um please i should give her 500 naira to eat that she has not eaten blah 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 i was like oh, okay why have you not eaten what's going on she said auntie don't worry it's a long story and me mumu me mumu me i already started feeling empathy already I already said I feeling sorry for her. So I gave her 1,000. I didn't give her 500. I gave her 1,000. In my mind, I was like, what's 500 going to do for this lady? Let me give her 1,000. So I gave her 1,000 there. Fast forward to weeks passed. And I realized that she now started showing interest in my child. Maybe when I come for to pick up or when, of course, you have to be shortening. The crutch is inside the hospital, so you can go occasionally to breastfeed your child. My my daughter was just three months when I started that crutch, so she was very young. So you go breastfeed your child and come back just like that. So, <laughs> story is getting interesting. Sit down, tight, carry your popcorn, drink coke. So, um, I just found myself thinking about this lady at every point. So in the morning when I'm going to work, if I make food, I have to make two packs one for her one for myself Mumu me <laughs> so i was i always had her in mind if i'm buying something i'm thinking about her how she has not eaten how the baby she's carrying and everything you know the story is long yeah, it's been long this thing happened but i can't remember i try to remember everything so i'll just take it step by step so one day she now came and i told her i said who is the father of this child so like eh, he's a guy who the guy um, denied the baby um denied the baby she's suffering she lives in an uncompleted no 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 she's staying with somebody for free blah 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 that this job is all she has and stuff like that so i was like no no don't worry don't worry don't worry i'm going to help you i'm going to help you so she talked about her registering for atinata i'm like atinata this lady is like she should be like Seven months pregnant. Atinata, seven months, you have not started. I was like, no, 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 no. You have to start Atinata. I started putting everything in place. Started going for Atinata. Um, and I told her I was coming to visit her. Okay, there was a day she didn't come to work. I went to her house. She described the house. I visited her with my colleague and my daughter. See the risk that I took. Somebody I don't know from Adam. With my colleague and my daughter. But I actually told my colleague to follow me because I was not too sure of her we got there she took us to where she was in my opinion this person doesn't really look like somebody that is suffering no because the house looks okay I me mean, i'm just trying to look at her house and look at where i'm staying <laughs> because when i moved to the place i didn't really get anything big i just got like a small place for just me and my daughter to just chill so i'm like ah, you're doing well now you have everything what's what are you what are you looking for blah 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 she was telling me about her suffering her parents have um her parents denied her blah 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 they don't want to see her so i told her no problem no problem i'm going to see what i can do so let me fast forward to a lot of things happened along the line i did a lot of things so let me fast forward to the part where she scammed me so i got home that weekend and because i usually go home weekends but I stay where I was working during the week and go home weekends. Or my husband comes over for the weekend. So this weekend we go home. So I started narrating everything to my husband. I was like, I'm thinking of giving this lady so so amount um, to start a business after she puts to bed. And I'm going to do like a fundraising for her. Tell people about it. These are the things in life that I've enjoyed doing. This is the only thing that gives me joy. I don't know why people want to change me. Like, I don't know why people want to change me. This is what I do for life. This is the only thing that I do that, that will make me feel fulfilled, helping people. So, I told my husband to add to it. My husband was like, you will not calm down. You have taken this thing again, seriously. She reminded me of an incident that happened in the past. I was like, forget about that one. I did that one for God. I did not do it for anybody. But this lady genuinely, like, legit needs help. So, 
I now, um, <laughs> so I now started raising money. And when my salary came, I took out a percentage. And then um, we went, me and my grandmom went to the market and we shopped. I told her to write me a list because I was thinking if I give her the money, she may not buy some things. So I told her to write me a list of everything she needs. God bear me witness. God, you can hear me. I am not lying. I told her to write me a list of everything that she needs for her baby. And she wrote me a long list front and back. And me and my grandma, we went to the market and I legit bought everything on that list. Like everything on that list. Not one thing was left, including clothes, shoes, diapers, baby bath. But what she even did, what she did not even write, I bought them. So we now took it and presented it to her. She had gotten that one from me. So, um, after a while, and I felt, okay, she's getting close to when she wants to put to bed. I have to save up money for her delivery and all that. Then secondly, I have to start raising money for her, um, her, um, business, starting her a business. Let her stop the security work that she was doing. She was actually working with an agency. It's not like a personal security thing. An agency that she was working with, a company brought her. Do you understand? They were in charge of the hospital. So she was posted to the crutch. Sorry. So I was not thinking. I said, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, um, I hope this video is not too long. I'm going to tell other people about it so they can be a part of it. Let it not just be like I'm the only one. I told my husband, you see, first of all, I want to really thank my husband. I feel that God used to like know people and give them spouses because imagine I was married to somebody like me who would not have any property, <laughs> who would not have anything, nothing at all. So um, I now told my husband, I said, you have to invest in this thing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. You have to invest in it. I told my colleagues, I told my friend, saying one day and I thought about it, I said, let me tell my boss. So I told my boss, I said, ma, please. There's this lady I'm trying to work out things for, blah, blah, blah. Um, sorry, guys. I need to push this thing up a little. So I told her, I was like, there's this lady I was, I'm trying to work things for, um, for her to start up a business. She's suffering, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, who is the person? I told her. And she was like, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. She now said I should describe this lady. I started describing, started describing, called her name. Do I have a, her picture? I said yes. So I showed it to my um, my boss. And my boss and her friends started screaming. 